Hey, value traders, did you see the big jump in gold to record highs? Value Trades. I'm Brad Alexander, and in today's Market Blast, let's take a look at Aussie dollar, WTI, dollar CAD, euro dollar, pound dollar, and gold. Yes, the price of gold reached $2,146 this morning. Last week, we pointed out that Jerome Powell's speech on Saturday might cause disruption in the open today, and look what happened. The market is now assuming a U.S. Federal Reserve interest rate cut in March of 2024. Also, with the escalation in Gaza, XAUUSD received a safe haven boost. If we look at the monthly chart, we see just how high price action went when we consider these previous highs from 2020, 2021, and April of this year. Again, geopolitical turmoil always causes gold to rise in price. Also, a weak U.S. dollar usually means a rise in price action on XAUUSD, and over the weekend, we got both at the same time. Speaking of the U.S. dollar and Jerome Powell, the dollar fell upon the market opening, with weakness continuing in all pairs except Euro dollar. If you want to take advantage of the trend and you're looking for opportunities, the technical indicators might be against you at the moment. For example, you might want to wait for a pullback to the lower trend line on pound dollar and perhaps a technical signal of a reversal. You may also look at other pairs or in fact use the same strategy to find a selling opportunity on dollar CAD. In any case, please be aware of the economic news this week as we have news affecting U.S. dollar including a PMI and the non-farm payrolls on Friday. Also, we have an interest rate decision in Australia tomorrow with no rate change predicted. If you do trade dollar CAD, be aware of a Canadian PMI and an interest rate decision on Wednesday, and as we know, the value of the Canadian dollar is directly correlated with the price of WTI. Price action on WTI is at this key level of support, and our technical indicators look bearish. If price action breaks lower, we have key levels below down to major support at around $67. Getting back to the Australian dollar, if you want to trade movements against the trend on Aussie pairs, determine the overall trend on longer time frames and try to trade pullbacks on shorter time frames against the trend to open positions in the direction of the trend. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Value Trade Signals and the link will be in this video's description below. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and register on the Value Trades website to get notifications on new content as it happens. That's all for now. Happy trading with Value Trades and we will see you next time. CFDs and FX are leveraged products and your capital may be at risk.